send me the video I'll edit it for you and put it on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Videography at its best. It's Speedway car cams or nothing. video on how to pair this remote to a GoPro session. Um, I read over some documentation, kind of got confused, um, tried a few things, ended up calling GoPro. Um, they walked me through it. It was very simple. I looked over one, one thing um, on how to pair this with that. So the main thing is, is you push the button on the back of the session which brings up the LED screen here. Then you push it again. And then you push it again. One more time. And it says app or RC. You push it one more time after that. It says add new. You click the top button. Um, what's highlighted now is app. And you want to click the back button to make it go to RC. Then you click the top button. Right now, it is looking for the signal from the remote. The key is, on the back of the remote, is it tells you to push both of these at once to put them in pairing mode, uh, which is kind of misleading because it should tell you to hold down the record button and push this button one time while holding the record button. So what we want to do is hold down this button we push this button one time, keep holding the record button. Now it's in pairing mode, see with the arrows. It should sync up with that GoPro. Which I may have done already because it looks like it shows one right now. So what I'm going to do is hit this record button. It says stopped. But essentially what it would do is pair up with this camera. And then display you the readout. The same readout that's on the camera. That it's at 1080p, 30 frames per second. There's already four videos on there. You have two hours and 18 minutes of video time, full battery, and that the Wi-Fi is on. So the goal for this is when you're strapped into your race car and you have your camera right here on your little roll bar mount, but you can't reach over your shoulder and turn it on, I'm sending this remote to a driver so he can fasten this within his cockpit where he can see and reach, turn the camera on, and hit our little record button. He hits that record button. Now we're recording on the video. Or on the camera. So that way the driver knows it's, it's recording. We got a red blinking light. He doesn't have to have someone stand by his car to turn the camera on. We don't have to worry about missing any feature footage. Um, things of that nature. The only thing we do have to worry about is battery life. Um, so if you run this camera on your hot laps, then you run it on your heat race. While you're not racing during those times, you're going to want to throw this on both of these on a charger because when it's in wi-fi mode uh it's not using a lot of battery power but it is using battery power so what we'll do is we'll stop that recording it will stop recording but the camera stays on even if i hold the power button it turns off the camera it turns off the remote but that little blue light means the camera is still 
somewhat on. It's trying to read the signal from this remote. So that way when I hit the power button, remote powers on, looks for the camera, finds the camera, turns the camera on, syncs up with the camera, now you can record again. All right, so we're gonna stop that recording. That's kind of a test. We're going to power off both devices. And the camera is, the power is off, but the Wi-Fi signal is, is not. So while this is just sitting on your car, it will eat your battery. Because it's it's constantly looking for a signal from this. Um, and to avoid that, what we'll do is you'll click that back button again. You click it one time. You'll click it again. It hits enter photo mode. You click it again. Camera settings, you click it again. And it says turn Wi-Fi off. You click that top button. The blue light blinks. Wi-Fi is now turned off, and your camera is no longer consuming battery power. So that is a little bit of a challenge on setup because you want to make sure that before you race, before you strap in to your car to go get in staging, so your person doesn't have to be there to turn the camera on, you click the back of the camera once, you click it again, you click it again, Click it one more time, and you hit, while it's an app or an RC, you click that top button. You see the little Wi-Fi signal there? So it's now actively looking for our remote. The little blue light will blink, and it'll wait for you to tell it to turn on. We'll click the power button on your remote. Remote turns on, tells you a battery level. Turns the camera on, finishes connecting to it, voila, tells you how many videos you have, how much battery power you have on the camera, how much footage you can record, and you're good to go. You know, pulling the stage in, waiting stage in while they're lining you guys up, blah, 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 you know, the pace tracks in front of you, or however your, your, your class does it, or your racetrack does it. You get ready to go pull out, you know, get going under some green fl uh, flag footage. Hit that little record button and forget about it. Enjoy your race. Hopefully you're one of the ones over the scales at the end of the race, if not carrying the uh, checkered flag. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, reach out to me. And uh, thanks for being a Speedway Car Cams fan. I hope this was worth watching if you would like a decal like this one let me know and um, we'll get one mailed out to you <coughs> if you run a gopro on your race car um, but want some help editing your footage don't want to deal with it things of that nature i have a team in car camera program uh, where we can edit your footage you can upload it to our online form when you get home from a race, plug your camera in, fill out your name, what track you were at, what class you're in, um, upload the footage right from the camera, let it upload all night. Some drivers, it uploads within an hour, some it takes 12 hours. It all depends on how big of a file, how many cautions you had, how good your internet is. If for some reason that option does not work for you, you don't have good internet, you don't have internet, uh, things like that or if it just takes too long um, our second option would be to mail us the SD card uh, let's see here do I have one three yeah, of course I got one I got one right here in front of me um, what you would do is just you know obviously the camera's going to complain at me because I'm taking it out you would take out your SD card You'd stick it in one of these, 
Put your SD card in there, stick it in a bubble envelope, and mail that to us. Uh, the camera just says S no SD. I thought it would beep at me, but it didn't. Um, and what we would do if you're part of that program and we know you're mailing us an SD card is we would mail you one back the same Monday. That way you have an empty SD card for your next race while we're getting your full card to edit. Because by the time I get your card and mail it back to you, you're probably already raced. But uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a little in information about that, about the remotes for the ones that don't really have a lot of help in the pits. The ones that do have a lot of help, but they want to go sit in the stands and watch and not necessarily be in the staging lane to turn a camera on. Um, this is this is your friend. And this one right here is getting ready to be mailed out to Bobby Pierce. Uh, he signed on for our team in car, and hopefully it was informative for you guys. Thanks for watching. We're here to help, here to get your videos, and here to help dirt car racing. Go ahead.